Hey folks, it's Bobo the Vulture again, and that means it's time for more Let's Play. I'm gonna play a game from my relative youth um, called Castle of the Winds. Um, as you can see, um, since I already did a test run to make sure that the windows and everything were lined up to where I could, you know, get them all to appear, uh, I've already distributed my points. You see those little black hash lines in the middle there? That's where your stats ordinarily start, and this excess comes from a little available bar over here. But I've already spread them out, gave myself a slight edge in intelligence and dexterity because. Uh, I want to be able to use magic fairly well, and I don't want my attacks to miss, which does happen. Um, and yeah, why not? We'll keep the difficulty at a normal level. Um, this is what our character will look like. He has really unusual tan going on here. Also, why do we have these rendered dark black nipples? I'll let you, the viewer at home, ponder that. We could get our own icon, but... Uh, since this is an old-fashioned game, I believe it would actually have to be a .ICO, and uh, I don't have a program to make those anymore. And you know, why bother? This guy's so handsome and good-looking. We're gonna go with him. Okay. And uh, we need to pick a spell to learn. We're gonna learn Heal Minor Wounds because that will be good to know. You know, when you get hurt and miss work. It won't hurt to miss work. So yeah, this is the blacksmith shop. Um, I'm not going to buy any of these items right now. And over here is the general store. Potions, scrolls, shoes, that sort of thing. Down here is the temple where you can, you know, get yourself healed or get cursed items uh, taken off, that sort of thing. This is Olaf's junk store. Uh, you can never buy anything from Olaf, but you can sell anything to Olaf, including items that are, you know, broken or cursed or things that they ordinarily wouldn't take at other shops. Snorri the Sage. Okay, mm yeah, you can ordinarily, I think you can buy magical items from him, but uh, he's not bothering to give us any. Uh, hey, the door to this farm is locked. Bunch of jerks. Let me in! It's locked! Fake! Alright, let's leave town. And here is our beautiful backdrop in the world. Dun, dun. Can we go over here? No, we can't go over there. All right, let's go over here. I believe um, I think my folks have a farm out of town over here or something. I remember. <sighs> Haven't heard of. Whoa! What happened to it? Oh my gosh! You gaze once more at the charred ruins of the farm where you were raised. You buried the blackened skeletons of your godparents in the remains of the garden they loved. But you can't bury the anger which still seethes at the thought of how they died. Grimly you vow that nothing will prevent you from avenging their deaths. The marauders pillage the farm quite thoroughly. Nowhere in the ruins can you find the amulet left for you by your true father, whose dying words whispered to your godfather were supposedly of importance to you, of how it could lead you to your fortune and great glory, but only if you proved your worth. Your godparents had promised to, uh... They would promised to tell you about it on your 18th birthday, but uh, now you have neither godparents nor birthright, and your birthday just passed. Oh, so you're 18 now. Happy birthday, dude. Um, yeah, search for clues in the rubble finds only a confused trail of footprints leading north toward the mountains. Many of the footprints seem much too large to have come from the boots of bandits or soldiers. Great. Friggin' Sasquatches. You look north wondering, where might the amulet be by now? To whom must you prove yourself, and how? We're about to find out, folks. North! Actually, wait. Here's a little path that goes off. You look at the highway vanishing in the distance and feel no need to continue. What about this way? I can totally book. <sighs> Fine. We'll go north. Friggin' game. Hey, look. Oh, all of a sudden we've uh, emerged in a roguelike game. At least that's what I've been told these things are called, where like random maps get generated. I'm going to press the S button periodically, which is why the time might change, even though I'm seemingly standing still. Uh-oh! Enemy! How do we fight enemies? Press towards them! Uh-oh. Kobold. 
Wow, kobold is actually going to kill me. I'm going to get killed by a kobold. I can't be having that. Ah, I had to heal myself to fight this kobold. That is how sad we are right now, folks. Hmm, say. Let's pick that up. G, forget. It is a suit of leather armor. We're going to save the game. Because that's what you do. Bobo won. And now you can see that, uh, yes, this is in a folder called Emu. <sighs> okay. Game saved. Now we're going to go to into our inventory. Inventory. I know. Inventory. But, uh, yeah, right now we're running around naked with a dagger. Um, so let's put on a suit of leather armor. Why can't I put on a suit of leather armor? Don't tell me. Oh, it's an overgarment, right? The armor goes over here. Okay, it is a normal suit of leather armor. That's good to be wearing, right? Yeah, I think so. Now we're dressed. Let's press on. Like Lee press on nails. And uh, more dungeon. So we continue to search this dungeon, which, I don't know, thus far, if we look at the map, looks vaguely like, I don't know, an intestinal tract or something. Let's keep going. <sighs> we shall rule intestinal tract land. And, uh, uh-oh, goblin. Goblin missed me. He does miss me. I'm missing this goblin. Uh. Hey, the goblin is dead. Take that, goblin. Alright, there's the staircase down. But we're not going to go down yet, of course. We're going to come down here first. And check out this area that we didn't check out already. The next part of Intestines Land. Oh, sh shoot. Mice. And they're ganging up on me. Oh, crud. This may be the end. Can you believe this is going to be the end? Because it seriously is going to be the end. We're going to have to run out of the castle in order to escape the wrath of these mice. Although, wait, we might be able to fight them off here. Okay, that giant rat is dead. What happened to the other one? <laughs> I have newfound confidence. Oh boy, one of these days I'm going to be coming back through this dungeon. Hey, I'm just barely alive, and uh, it's going to turn out that that rat is just going to show up and kill me. Just like nibble at my ankle and like everything that I had, all the awesome, you know, solid gold, uh, I don't know, boots. <laughs> Let's say I have solid gold boots. Alright, here's my verb window. I can get examine, search, disarm trap, rest until healed, sleep until mana is restored. I think that's what we're going to try and do right now, because it takes forever for a mana to restore. But it does so on its own. Sleep! And, uh, yeah, our mana has been restored. Oops, Dizzy. And, uh, then, yes, we go down. There's a door there. I'm going to let it stay closed, and I'll probably just start searching down that other hallway in the next episode of Castle of the Winds. But uh, I believe that's enough for this time. And uh, until next time, I'm Bobo the Vulture, and this is Let's Play Castle of the Winds. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.